Well, I would like to thank you for coming to this presentation. We are celebrating our two-year achievement. As thank you, you don't know, for the guest. And uh, anyone who maybe wasn't a part of the family, feel welcome. I hope uh, you enjoy and maybe go and I want one or two things from the day so that we can come to your place and we can have a sense of celebration. First of all, I would like to. Uh, before we start the meeting, let's start uh, with a prayer from George. Heavenly Master, thank you for this day you have. We thank you for the gift that you've given unto us. We also thank you for the meeting we want to, we, to want to start as a family. Play with us, guide us, start with us, and with us. We just pray and believe. Amen. Now, as we want to begin our meeting, I'd like to introduce to our guests, our officials, and also club players. I'll, I'll exclude our two, our two fathers seated right on our patron side. So for now, I'll start with Mr. Faranka, our patron. <laughs> Next to him, we have Dr. Arun Say, our club president. <laughs> Next to him, we have Mr. Rizwan Yusuf, Yunis, our club president. <laughs> Finally, we have Mr. Nizar Lata, our club president. Now we are through with the club officials. I'd like to introduce our players to our guests. Some of them don't know our players, so it will be a pleasure and a huge honor for our players to be introduced to them. I'd like to start with the senior most among the players, Mr. Joshua Njogu. He's the one who we lack motivation up front, we lack goals. He comes in with a few of his stickers. <laughs> Next, we have Mr. Matthew Friday. <laughs> Some of us know him as baby boy because he's still young. <laughs> <laughs> then next, in terms of seniority, it happens to be me, George Omoni. <laughs> Next, in terms of seniority, we have Mr. Pius Ratori. <laughs> He's our goalkeeper. Followed by him, we have Mr. Robert City. He is our midfielder. Followed by him, we have Benson Mutina. Wow. He is also a midfielder. Followed by him, we have Mr. Steve Nyasani. He is also our forward player. Followed by him, we have Mr. Henry Otwoma. He is a defender. Followed by him, we have Mr. Abel Oguino. He is also a defender. Followed by him, we have Mr. Andy Cole Oche. He is also a defender. As we are coming close to the end of the introduction, let me have the opportunity to introduce our la among the last points. First, we have Stanley Obuya. <laughs> He's also a midfielder. And finally, among the youngest of all, we have Mr. Moses Omonde. <laughs> He's also a goalkeeper. In absentia, I would like also to recognize our coach. Mr. Norbert Fernandez, unfortunately, he has not been able to be with us today. And also, one of our senior most players, Mr. Austin Otieno, he was supposed to be with us, but due to some unavoidable circumstances, he is not able to be with us today. So, for our visitors, I hope you now know 
how like your heroes, players are, and also the officials. Feel welcome as we continue with the meeting. Is the vice president of MCH. Then I uh, go to the secretary general, Mr. Faisal Yassin. We have also just been voted in today once again. Then we have uh, from the west side, we have visitors from the west side, we coach Tony. Then we also have the Secretary General for Mass Arrest, Sajak. And we have friends of Radio Yuzo to Club Fabina. And we have the presence of uh, a great Romia in Gori. Actually, I just met him as a coach sometimes back uh, when I was in Vita. I, I, it's called Papu, I don't know the official name, but I think that's the name. <laughs> Uh, 
like you, but it's better. And uh, the World Cup, as the name suggests, is an annual Tanzania tournament held at 6th Union Ground in Moshi. And it was held on the 14th of October 2021. This tournament attracted a total of 8 men's team. And here I must add, they actually the first ever Kenyan team to participate in the tournament and also the first ever Kenyan team to win it. It was a first experience as it involved long distance traveling, immigration, legal docu documents, requirements, which, which actually made us stay at the border for almost uh, how many hours? Two? Two almost three hours. Yeah. And a six day stay in Moshi, where we spent about 450,000 Kenyan shillings in total. Of all three, that includes meals, accommodation, uh, legal requirements, and PCR tests, uh, and transport. But it was all worth since we came back home with the trophy after defeating the most Moshi Katsa in the finals. Here again, Moshi Katsa have been the winners, being the host, they have been the winners of the tournament for the last 12 editions. And usually, they bring Kenyan players from Nairobi to boost their team. But this time around, being the first ever Kenyan team, we invited, that was courtesy of a uh, patron, Mr. Foran. We were invited. <laughs> and I believe our win came through the tournament that we participated in the first ever the World Cup, which was won by uh, our other opponents, Mombasa West, which really gave us a challenge, and the patron really <laughs> gave us a challenge. And that's why in the second tournament we won the African Ocean. Now we came back with the Eureka, first ever international tournament that uh, thank you for spending. Now, we came back, that was in uh, last year, after winning the Eureka tournament, we just had a uh, two month of training and then participated in the Daiki Jamuri Cup, which is a national tournament uh, hosted by KHU. Which was in the calendar event, although the league had not started. Just as the first tournament in 2020, we decided to go big in 2022. Actually, it was in 2021, and sponsored a national Jamuri tournament organized by Mombasa County Hockey Association in conjunction with Mombasa Sports Club and the Kenya Hockey Union on the 12th December 2022. Being the first official K2 tournament in two years since the COVID 19 pandemic struck. A lot of teams participated in the tournament. A total of 12 men's team and 5 ladies team. The men's team were divided into two pools, while the ladies in one pool. All the men's pool games were played on a round robin basis, with the top two teams in each pool qualifying for the semi finals. The Akio Heroes lost 1 0 in the pool stages against Kenya Police, who led a mild winners in the tournament after winning in the finals against. Western judges. So at least we had the pressure of playing the, the champions in the pool stages. And actually, I must add, they actually scored in the last minute of the game. We were drawing 0 0. Yeah. And that brought up 40 finals for the semi finals, but it was a tough line. This was one of a kind of a tournament as it was the first tournament where both men's and ladies' Kenyan national teams participated. And the men's and national team players are teams who were participating because the, they were preparing, preparing for the trip for the African Cup of Nations in Ghana. And uh, it was an achievement for because we played against them, the men's national team, uh, and it was a bad draw. And it was a really tight match. So all in all, in the tournament, we we won two matches, lost one, and drew one match. Yeah, we lost one. Yeah, we lost one match. But we didn't make it to the semi-finals. But it was a learning curve, and uh, we have to learn. I really hope that we can win more of the tournaments in the future. Thank you, Mr. Sidney. Thank you, Sanjogo. I think uh, there is one of our latest tournaments. I think it has not been updated in the system. My apologies. 
we are, what like we call it, the two moments we just participated, I think, uh, two weeks ago. And we we won winners in the tournament. We brought a couple where we branded, we rebranded the Fantastic Eleven because we're just a team of 11 players, no sub, no inter. <laughs> then fast forward and we'll go to like as other programs, apart from just to play, go to the pitch, come back. We have other things that we're doing as a like in the at a, like in the club. So we have the sponsors, the sponsorship programs that is majorly driven or financed by our captain of like heroes of the club, come the patron, and also he's also he doubles as the CEO of Lake Japan Motors. So as you all know, it's Mr. Faranka. So in our sponsorship program, we have around four students who are in their teacher in their financing full is uh, their teacher education that is uh, past high school. <laughs> and uh, he just told me that uh, he's hoping to have even more because he believes in the in the law of attraction, which says the more you go to give it to others, you give yourself. Thank you, Heroes of Club also has uh, given some job opportunity, not some, has given job opportunity to, to some of its players because you know after campus, what's next? That which is a little bit tricky for those who have done it, those who have completed their studies. Once you're done with your studies, the world next question is the biggest of all. So, Mr. Farankan Mr. Mr. has uh, helped us solve this problem partially. He has given us a place, a place to maybe lay our head as we wait for everything for for better or bigger things. So I'll go to the financial report of the club. There's some in the past two years. So total financial expenditure for the club, I know you won't believe it. Anyone can get anyone to get a figure. Anyone can get a figure? Mm -hmm. Well, let me just read it out now. So we spent uh, a total of about 3.9 million. There was six o'clock that is five million. Mark you have not taken into account some miscellaneous expenditures. The miscellaneous maybe they are around one million or something. <laughs> so first we spent uh, I'll break it down to the rent has cost about 360,000. The rent is for the pitch. In the pitch where we play, it, we, it doesn't belong to us, we are hiring. We are building this in the ground. Then we have uh, field equipment. That is, field equipment include the golf course, net, and other utilities. This has been, Mr. Farhan has provided us with some, uh, he actually financed, uh, he brought for us some field equipment. That total about 150,000. Then player equipment, he has a uh, gold for us sticks, about nine sticks, nine quality sticks that we have. Then uh, we have the hockey, hockey stick, stick bags. Stick bags, we have around five stick bags. Uh, stick bag costs about 25,000. Hockey balls are number. I can tell you this, uh, I think it's the last time. The only change is that we can have three balls if we have a player, it's the idea. I'm not bragging about it. So, hockey balls, you, have, uh, you spend about 30,000. Goalkeeper split, you spend about uh, 65,000. Not about, but we, this is, these are the actual figures. Uh, uniform, we spend about 64,000. Then, the sponsorship programs, we have uh, the education fees, we spend for 153,000, 350 shillings. Tournaments, we spend about 950,000 for all the tournaments that we, there are some which are we have sponsored to participate in. Then we have uh, salaries and wages for the people at two years, it's around 1.8 million. Marketing and advertising, you see this, and some others, we spend about 200,000 total to 3,997,315 3, children. 